So today we're going to talk about what women need from a man to fully commit. And this video is directed for you men. So this is for you men going forward. So I want you to think about this for a second, and particularly men over 40, men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, and, and also women in this age bracket. Most of us have moved past that baby-making period in our life. You see, when you're in your 20s and 30s, uh, most men are seeking somebody and women are seeking somebody to to make babies with and raise a family with this person. So we have a different mindset when we're dating. A woman is looking for a man who could be the father of her children, that could be a husband. Certainly a man is doing the same. But if you're a man seeking a significant relationship, it's pretty important that you recognize what women over 40 are looking for from you. So we're going to dive into this for a second. And, and midlife is quite a bit different, especially since the vast majority of people over 45 years old are divorced. I would roughly say about 75% of singles over 45 years old are divorced. And so that comes with it a set of luggage. You know, sometimes it's known as baggage, but it comes with a set of luggage that's quite a bit different than when you're in your 20s and 30s. Now, here's the challenge. Many of you men who are watching this, you might be seeking a casual relationship, a casual relationship. And most of the times, a casual relationship is based on entertainment. It is the doing of things together to entertain one another. That's what most people enter into these days are casual relationships. And men, I want you to know women are thirsty for men who can actually dive into something more significant, more serious, something that you can build together in a relation, build together. So I really want to encourage you to be mindful that if you are not ready for a significant relationship, then I want, I'm inviting you to be protective of someone else's feelings. And I know this is challenging for many of you men because Listen, our need for sexual conquest, our need for, for physical connection with someone, our need for companionship can oftentimes cause us to be myopic, to be narrow-minded, to be only in it for ourselves. And I'm here to say, guys, you know, a woman is a precious thing. A woman is a precious thing. And I invite you to treat that woman with a level of reverence, a level of care. And I don't mean to put her on a pedestal. I just simply mean be mindful that your actions have consequences. So today we're going to talk about four things you might need to do to really capture that woman of your dreams, that woman that you can go the distance with in a significant relationship. And the first and most important, uh, they're, they're all important. So I was about to say first and most important, but, but it's certainly critically important to be relationship ready, to be relationship ready. What relationship ready means is to be healed from your childhood wounds and adult traumas that may be blocking you to open your heart to another human being. If you're not familiar with the book, um, The Hoffman Process, The Hoffman Process, I invite you, there's a link below in the, the show notes, um, Jonathan Recommend Books. I highly recommend getting this book. Why? Because we all have childhood wounds and they could be minor wounds. It doesn't have to, when I say childhood wounds and traumas, they don't have to be significant. It could be something minor that causes us to block our heart to open up to another human being. In addition, to be relationship ready, I'm inviting you to have a mindset of gratitude, of gratitude. If you want to read a really great book to put you in a heart-centered space of gratitude, I invite you to read the book. This is intense stuff. Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. Again, copy of the books I recommend. I'm inviting you to live in a space of gratitude, particularly when it comes to women. Be in that space of gratitude that a woman is something precious, just like a man is something precious. I think human beings, you know, this human experience is something precious. And I invite you to be in that relationship ready space. 
to invite in a special woman in your life. Number two, clarity on compatibility and vetting skills. Clarity on compatibility and vetting skills. What I mean about compare. So remember I said in our 20s and 30s, you might be looking for um, the mother of your children kind of thing. In your 40s, 50s, and 60s, it's a whole different ballgame. You have a fully curated life right now. So so it's important to get a sense of who's really compatible with you. And vetting means asking deeper questions in the early stages of dating. By the way, I know I'm yelling. I'm just passionate right now. <laughs> asking deeper questions in the early stage of dating and not be so hyper-focused, men, on the physical aspects. There is this misconception that chemistry equals relationship success. There's a saying that goes something like this, men seek sex to find love and women give love or give sex hoping for love. That's that's kind of a cliff note version of what I think it is. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not cliff note. It's the way I've interpreted it, okay? So I'm, I'm here to say sex is not the vehicle to a healthy, happy relationship. Now, it's certainly the icing on the cake. There's no doubt about it. But I'm here to say, men, if you're watching this, I invite you to really be more mindful. Is this person right for me? And by the way, a lady should be doing the exact same thing towards you. Are you really right for her? And if you adopt what I'm sharing here today, you might find yourself experiencing a more healthy way of approaching the dating process. Now, number three, I call it attraction, flirting, and being seen. Attraction, flirting, and being seen. Folks, if you want to have a date with someone, you have to put yourself out there to be seen. But more importantly, I think it's important to make yourself attractive to the other person. And that might mean exercising, getting better in shape, getting in mental shape, having a great mindset, wearing nicer clothes, making effort, particularly to make yourself stand out. Guys, if you want a you know a woman that's the cream of the crop, if you want the 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 top of the tree, then it's important that you make significant effort to put yourself close enough to be on the top of the tree. I mean, like I said, and I know it's frustrating for those of us in midlife because most people in midlife do a terrible job taking care of themselves. And this is the beauty of it, men. If you make just a little bit effort, you will make yourself stand out from every other guy out there. And learning flirting skills, the juicy part of a relationship is to flirt with one another. And if you need some help with that, Google flirting skills on, or excuse me, on YouTube, search for flirting skills and learn little things that you can do to make the, the, the spark be the predominant space that you live in within a relationship. And last but not least, this fourth piece of the puzzle is learning relationship skills, re learning relationship skills, tools uh, for better communication skills, having clarity on a shared vision, recognizing a relationship as a separate entity. I'm going to recommend a couple more books for you guys, and that is A, How to Be an Adult in Relationship, How to Be an Adult in Relationship. I'm also going to recommend this book, Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. And by the way, I know the title says nonviolent communication, but it's really about compassionate communication. If you want to be in a healthy, happy relationship, it's important to learn better communication skills, guys. And last but not least, men. I want you to order this book called Eight Dates by Doctors John and Julie Gottman. Why? Because this will give you a blueprint of how you can go back to that vetting somebody. And it also will prepare you for the structure of what your relationship should look like. Now, I, I want to say something. This book is kind of geared for people in their 20s and 30s who are making babies. So that place doesn't count or that doesn't apply to you. I just want to replace that with uh, grandchildren in that narrative. But these are just some simple ways that you can make yourself stand out so a woman 
will want to commit to you. I'm inviting you to do the work to prepare yourself for that special lady who will want to dive in and roll up her sleeves with you and build what I affectionately call a juicy, delicious, healthy, happy relationship. And the juicy part is when you're in a space of passion and gratitude, there's nothing more inviting. Well, I'm sure there are, but in my mind, there's nothing more inviting than being in a relationship that is built on something strong instead of our weak way of currently dating in the dating marketplace. Is this sinking in, man? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know if it is. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. In addition, men, do me a favor. Click that like button. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos out there to help you attract a special person in your life. I'm going to do what I always do for my videos for women. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a big, gigantic hug. Uh, first, I'm going to give myself a big, gigantic hug of love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love. And I'm asking you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, guys, we could all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.